As Mark back here with yet another video. Okay, so yesterday, the Sony A9 was finally announced. It was almost exactly what we had been hoping for, or was it? So according to all the internal sources that had leaked information about this particular camera, most of the rumor sites were actually correct on about 90% of all the stuff that ended up getting leaked, which is fantastic. I mean, the camera presents itself as an amazing addition to the Sony camera lineup, but I do have a few problems with this particular camera. So first of all, I want to preface uh, my argument right here and now <laughs> with the fact that two years ago, two or three years ago, when I was deciding whether or not to leave Nikon and when I found uh, Sony, they had this humble little camera, the Sony A6000. Uh, this was not supposed to be a replacement for a lot of people. This was considered a toy. Again, I reiterate the fact that that was the uh, consensus among people that were still heavily shooting DSLRs. Uh, a lot of people didn't even consider the fact that Sony might actually, at one point in their history, take over Nikon in full frame camera sales. So not long after this guy was released, they released the A7, the very first full frame camera in their lineup. One of the biggest arguments for going to Sony was the fact that everything that the lower end cameras had, the high end cameras had as well. That was probably one of the biggest reasons uh, that I was always so upset with, with Nikon was that there are some really amazing features, useful features in those lower tier cameras that they, uh, that Nikon just did not include in their higher end. They thought, oh, well, professionals, uh, you know, just don't use this kind of stuff. If you're paying more money, especially the price tag that they're paying, that people are going to be paying for this Sony A9, that there should be any feature on those other cameras that this camera should not have. Now, let me just make it clear. I'm not talking about resolution or anything like that, because obviously uh, this is heavily targeted towards sports shooters or fast action, wildlife, you know, people that need to capture that decisive moment. So this is a camera targeted for a very specific audience, but there are more and more and more of us that are, we're hybrid shooters. We have to have both. So while this camera is a fantastic entry level camera and I get it, but it is in fact just one step above the A5100 in their line. But this is the top of the line most expensive camera and it's over $1,500 more than the A7R and the A7S. In my personal opinion, that camera should have everything that the lower end cameras end up having. Uh, my friend Hugh Brownstone did an interview with Mark Weir, a uh, big wig over at Sony. I met him down in Austin, Texas. He basically said that there is no picture profiles and there is no S-Log on this camera. Design? No, no S-Log, for example. So no S-Log, it can't shoot 4K at 60p. But why? I can seriously think of about 10 or 15 different reasons why someone that would be wanting to buy this camera would also want those video features included. Let me give you a perfect example. There are going to be many, many times where you will literally be bursting down a bride trying to capture that decisive moment. And then just after the moment is over, maybe you just want to switch over to video mode real quick. You know, use your custom recall memory, recall function, switch over to a really nice S-Log profile and capture some loving moment between the bride and the groom, uh, you know, as they're doing something kind of funny but not critical to being captured a la photo. And just being able to have that S-Log or a picture profile or hell, not even S-Log, you know, something just a little bit more easier to edit, say like their Cine profiles. The fact that they are not included in this camera, I mean, that is such a bummer. And I really do think that a lot of photographers are gonna be put off by that fact. Like I said before, my initial argument was that Sony always included those quote unquote, you know, other features in their higher end cameras. There's absolutely positively no reason to omit those features from this camera. It's not gonna cost Sony any more to add back those software features into this camera. I am imploring Sony, please do that. No there's no reason not to have it. I mean, it's not like it takes up that much extra space. It's not like that it takes up any extra room. It's not like that it requires any extra work on Sony's part, and it can only be a value add. It could only be a benefit to the, the hybrid shooter community. There's too many instances where people get hired that have to do not just one, but both 
situations with their cameras now. No one wants just photographs. No one wants just video. Everyone wants both. Too many people work with both. You know, whoever made that executive decision to leave it out, it seems like a money grab to me. And to a large extent, I hope that I'm wrong. I'm hoping that it was just an executive decision that says, well, you know, this camera is gonna be for people, you know, most, mostly for photographers, so we're just gonna leave it out so that they're not overly complicated with extra things to worry about. <gasps> and see right there, that is where I think the big boys always made the mistake trying to interpret or trying to come up with some type of reasoning for why they don't really need it. When really, in fact, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So what do you guys think? I mean, maybe I'm just way off. Maybe this is completely off the wall. Maybe no one really gives a crap about it. I just think that if you're gonna be paying that amount of money for a particular camera, it should have everything. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts on the matter, I would love to hear them down in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys think that this is a really bad step on the part of Sony. If you like this kind of content, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of new content just like this. Also don't forget to try and support the channel if you can, become a Patreon. You can drop me a buck or two and totally help the channel out. Or if you prefer to get something out of the deal, I've got lots of photography merchandise down in the description box down below. See you guys on the next one. Peace.